Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie, if you're new to my channel, and welcome to A Beauty with a Purpose. So if you are new, my name is Allie. I upload four videos a week, beauty, bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. All right, so for, today, for today's video, it is a voiceover, but it is a voiceover over this, a voiceover on this makeup look, which is just in time for those of you who do celebrate Valentine's Day, you know, just a little inspo. And this was actually really easy to create, like super easy just required a lot of different colors and really i could have probably only used two colors because some of the colors were very very similar so yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed this video so let's go ahead and get into the makeup all right you guys so for the first primer we're going in with is my hard can be <laughs> hard candy hydrating primer and we're just gonna lather that all over our face and then for something for the pores i did decide to try something new and i actually received this Clarins Instant Smoothing Pore Perfecting Primer and that is just what it looks like. It looks like your typical pore perfecting primer to me so I just put that in my problem areas. Okay you guys so for priming spray I did take my NYX Bear With Me Multitasking Spray and spoiler alert I really ended up liking this once I learned the nozzle. For outlining my brows, I am going to go ahead and use my Wonder Beauty Brow Pencil. You guys, I love this pencil. It's the perfect shade and the formula is one of those formulas that's like, it's not too dry, but it's not too creamy. Like it does exactly what you need it to do. And then shout out to Raquel for always hooking me up with the brow products. This is the NYX Lift and Sculpt Brow Pen. You guys, you guys y'all need to try this it's so easy to do your brows and this lasts all day like i literally had to scrub my brows to get this pin off of my brows so yeah i highly recommend this and of course thanks to raquel for always knowing the best brow products Just for cleaning up the brows, I am going to go ahead and use my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Almost need a new one, but let's use up some other concealers before we do that. And I'm just taking this flat Alamod Cosmetics brush. This is my favorite brush to clean up my brows with. I feel like you can get really close to the actual brow hairs. And then it's just so good at blending out the concealer or whatever you use to clean up your brows as well. Alright you guys, it's official. I am now a believer in eyeshadow primer. So today we took the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer and I just blend that in with my fingers after I apply it with the doe foot applicator. Okay, so for the actual eyeshadow look, I did use two palettes. I used this Wet n Wild palette and then this Eloise palette. It's the one that my sister sent me and this is just what the inside of both of those look like. Now you don't need two separate palettes. You just need palettes with these colors. Okay, so for setting that primer down, I am taking this Morphe brush that I mentioned in my favorites video and I'm just actually taking that cream shade that's inside of the Wet n Wild palette to go ahead and set down the lids. After that, I'm taking my Pro Fusion Large Blending Brush and I'm taking the shade Sheba in this palette and I'm just going to go ahead and start buffing that into my crease. So once we have the crease all buffed out, I'm taking my lavish tapered blending brush and I am just going to go ahead and start with this shade Elizabeth and we're going to start buffing that into our crease, not as blown out as we did the transition shade, but just a little bit lower into the crease back and forth, mostly focusing on the inner and outer corner. So next we're taking this random white haired blending brush that I got in an Amazon set and we are going to go ahead and take the shade Empress and this one we're really going to start focusing on packing it onto the inner and outer corner. I really didn't have any idea what I was doing with this look and then I was like boom halo eye. So that's why we're focusing on the inner and outer corners. 
All right, you guys, and now we're taking this angled cr crease brush from a makeup geek, and we're gonna go in with the shade Regal, Regal, don't know how to pronounce that word, but it's this purple shade. And this is where we're really, really, really gonna focus on the inner and out of cor outer corner, just to deepen those up and add some depth. So at this point, I just didn't feel that that purple was deep enough, so I am going to shake, take this deep pink magenta shade out of the Wet n Wild palette and do the same exact thing that I did with the purple shade. So now taking this beautiful lavender shade crown on my finger, I am just going to start tapping that onto the center of my eyelids. But once I did that, I just didn't realize like it wasn't enough for me. So I decided to take this concealer brush from Alamod Cosmetics and just go ahead and spray that and apply it with a brush. And I really liked it that way. It did really intensify it and really help that color just pop. I'm going in with the shade Monarch and I'm going to tap that like directly in the center of my eye just to make it really pop right in the center. So going in with my Thrive Cosmetics, oh my gosh, mascara. Uh, this is what I am actually just going to use on my blower and top lashes. And I'm just doing a thin coat on my top lashes since we will be going in with lashes. And the lashes I am going in with are the Sugared Cosmetics lashes in Style Spice. Okay, you guys, so once we have our lashes applied, I am going to go in ahead and go in with foundation. Just going in with my Il Maquillage foundation in the shade 60. And I did apply two to three layers of this, just where I wanted more coverage. Um, one layer gives you, like, natural coverage, and then, like, anything more than one gives you medium to full, obviously. Why did I even say that? Anyways, yeah, you can build this up. <laughs> So for highlighting and obviously concealing, I'm taking my e.l.f. concealer in the shade Medium Peach. And then I also am going to take my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Chestnut. And this is what we are going to be using to liquid, liquid contour, cream contour. Oh my gosh, I'm, I suck at this. <laughs> but that is what we are taking and I'm just going in with that same sponge and blending it in. Okay, to set everything down, I'm going in with my CoverGirl Clean Fresh Pressed Powder. This one is in the shade Light. And for all over my face, I'm going in with a fluffy powder brush. And then I do take the applicator that it comes with and press it underneath my eyes. For my lower lashes, I am going to start off with this Morphe pencil brush. And we are just going to go ahead and take the shade Empress. And we're going to um, put this on the lower lash line and just start buffing that out, kind of blowing out. And then I'm taking this flat definer brush from Morphe. It's all from the same kit. And then I am going to take the Regal, Regal shade and push that directly up against my lashes. Before liner, I'm taking the Pastel Dream Eyeliner in the shade Baby Pink, and we're just going to go ahead and obviously throw that into our waterline. Going back in with my Wet n Wild palette, I'm taking the Baby Pink shade on Makeup Geek Pencil Brush and just applying that to the inner corners. Okay, I did apply the Thrive Cosmetics mascara on my lower lashes, but I, now I'm going to take these two shades out of the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Bronzing Palette, and this is what we are going to bronze slash contour our face with today.
Now I'm going in with this banana shade and I'm just going to apply that under my eyes with a tapered powder brush. And honestly, I did not like this for the under the eyes. It looked really creasy and crepey. So for a blush and highlighter, I'm using this Ofra Complete Face Palette. That's not the name of it, but that's what I'm calling it. So I'm using the blush out of there. And then for the highlighter, I am going to focus more on the pink and the gold shade and um, just start applying that to our cheekbones, down our nose, above our brows, and Cupid's bow. How fitting Cupid's bow. Okay, so for lining the lips, I'm taking this lip liner in the shade Imagine from Profusion. And then to fill it in, we actually do have the shade Imagine in a liquid lipstick form as well. And that's what we just fill in our lips with after we line them. Just to be a little extra and add some dimension to our lips, I did take the lip Profusion Liquid Lipstick in the shade Dream, and I did just go ahead and add that to the center and just tap it out with my finger. I soon realized that that lip liner was not deep enough for me to add dimension, so I went in with my LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner in the shade Blushing. All these names are so fitting. Cupid's Bow, Blushing, Imagine, Dream. So perfect for Valentine's Day. So many lip products, but I am taking the Sugared Cosmetics Lip Gloss in Champagne, and we are just going to go ahead and apply that. I just wanted it because, you know, to add a little sparkle, a little razzle-dazzle, but I mean, if you're going to be kissing, I wouldn't recommend applying a gloss. So uh, next, I'm going in with my Wet n Wild Brow Sessive Brow Gel. Now, I did complain about this in my first impressions, but I actually really, really like it. The same with this freaking spray. I love it. Like, it's just so perfect. I did learn, though, that you have to spray it really slow and not just like or it doesn't spray right so you have to spray it slow to get the effect you want and then yeah just press it all in with the sponge to melt everything together Ooh, who is she fixing the bangs you know you guys sometimes I feel like I'm really close to looking like I have a mullet with this haircut and I sometimes I don't know how I feel about it but it's cute she's cute we cute you cute so yeah ooh, work it girl work work it girl better work it girl do your thing I'm so childish let me let y'all enjoy the rest of this look but this is how it came out and I love it All right, you guys, so this is a completed look for Lover's Day, Valentine's Day, whatever you want to call it. I actually really like how this came out. Um, it's really, really pretty. It's very pink. And obviously, I'm not dressed for Valentine's Day. We don't even celebrate it. But we are actually going on a date night tonight. So I was like, well, perfect time to film it. So yeah, this is the completed look, you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.